Good morning, the West River Valley Thrives from Southeast Vermont. I'm Steve Tavella, the project director. I'm Nick Plante, the project coordinator. Our vision is that West River Valley community members thrive and are committed to healthy choices. And our mission is to create opportunities for meaningful contributions to support and promote healthy lifestyle choices with an emphasis on the prevention of alcohol, tobacco, and other drug use by young people. Our goals are essentially to increase knowledge among students, youth, parents, to decrease use, and uh, also to focus on prescription drugs. We're located right here in Vermont. This is Wyndham County. We're part of a four-part prevention partnership in these four areas. This is our area. And moving in even further, these two towns come over here, and these are the seven towns that we're responsible for. It's a small population, but a large geographic area. About 7,000 people with a per capita income of about $28,000. We're gonna look more at the community uh, later on in the sustainability section. We are data collectors, and so we collect data in, in, with many different surveys. We're gonna focus on marijuana, and you can see here that Leland and Gray, L and G, in the Youth Risk Behavior Survey is 11% above uh, past 30-day marijuana use of the average in the U.S. and in Vermont, 24%. So we're way up there in marijuana use. And this just looks uh, core measures. A question that came up with Joanne, how do you know they weren't lying? Our core measure survey, which we do at the school, almost mimics exactly why our BS uh, data. So we know our students are answering uh, honestly. And again, this comes off of our core measure survey. You can see that uh, per perception by peers is that uh, marijuana is not harmful, and over here, very wrong to smoke it, much lower than the other substances. Mm -hmm. And we're the first state to legalize recreational marijuana, we know this. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a pretty detailed logic model, and we're, we're looking at perception of harm. I'm just gonna point out a few things here. 13.25% of high school students think they greatly risk harming themselves by smoking marijuana versus the state average of 24.5%. We know we need to collect more qualitative data. In another survey, the parent survey that we do annually, 33% of parents report the perception that most parents allow their children to use marijuana in the home. Our coalition's comprehensive strategies are to increase young people's and adults' perception of harm from smoking marijuana by 2% and here by 1% in past 30 day use. We think that's actually pretty significant given that we're the first state to legalize recreational marijuana. These percentages may seem low, but it's tough in Vermont with those perceptions. Uh, this is just a piece of our coalition's strategic plan to give you an example. We have the strategies laid out in their categories, who will do what by when, the resources that are needed, and then who needs to know about it? Our evaluation data comes from all these different surveys and also our biannual DFC report with comments that come back from our program officers for you DFC folks and our biannual evaluation that we contract out to a third party evaluator. As far as sustainability is concerned, we're looking ahead now three years. So, we, we match here our DFC grant. We probably have a, a, a greater in-kind than the 100% match. Uh, we also are funded through various other grants, and, we, and one of those that we hope to get next year is a, a local foundation who has supported us in the past. And then we hope to increase individual donor fine penalty and line item government things. We have small towns, so we're not gonna get a lot of money out of our, our towns. So, so back to our, our um, uh, community and sustainability. Some of the challenges in getting a, an active coalition, and our coalition is increasing in its activities. Low population density, low per capita income, large geographic area, multi-generational poverty, higher rates of substance use. But our strengths is that we have strong communities in many ways. A rural hospital that, that just this year ranked in the top 20 nationally in uh, patient satisfaction, a more active and diverse coalition that has grown incredibly in the past year. Our board, when Nick and I came on, was four members. It's now gonna hit the maximum uh, in our bylaws of nine. Uh, our action plan, again, this is another piece off of a, a very large action plan which points out goals, objectives, strategies, multiple strategies, the activity, 
who's responsible, and by when is that responsible, we translate that into a Gantt chart. Coming up, we uh, have the fortunate opportunity of working, um, our offices are in the school, so we have a great relationship with the school. Um, and as such, we have a currently flourishing above the influence group. We're also reaching out to the Queer Straight Alliance, to um, our environmental group called LEAF, and to student government. Um, we are working on creating a marijuana and brain development presentation with a uh, guest speaker, um, working with the driver's ed program and other extracurriculars, um, working within the community through interactive presentations. Um, we also have uh, some community collaboration activities and policy advocacy that we're working towards um, with the select boards and planning commissions um, for town modification as well as uh, multiple committees, including Community Hope and Action that puts on um, monthly, monthly substance-free dinners events, which, uh, yeah. So moving forward, um, here's just some pictures we wanted to show you of us working with students and um, some activities that we do, and then working within the community to build uh, um, more skills within the community through trainings and through our coalition. And if we have enough time, I'd like to play we do. a couple videos of some fun activities that we did. Nope. So this is a uh, activity we did at the farmer's market where we had them play cornhole with um, impairment goggles to show uh, uh -huh. the effect on coordination that alcohol can have on you. And that if you're not able to play games well, then you probably shouldn't get in the car. <laughs> no, that's her stumbling. That's not dancing. <laughs> she was having a really hard time standing up. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, and then this is a, uh, we had a trivia wheel um, that we developed, that we do for vaping trivia that the students ran um, during lunchtime. That was a huge hit. We had um, probably 80% of the school interact with that, which is pretty incredible. Oh, the audio's not coming through, but um, here's an example. Um, the wheel. Well, we made the inserts for it. The wheel came from PSA. Uh, our Partnership for Success yeah. Grant. And you can switch out the items in there so you can do vaping, uh, marijuana, alcohol, trivia because those triangles come out.